Novell Thomas's drive to succeed has never wavered. From a high school star, to a member of the Canadian national team, to head coach of the Bobcats. Just the sport that kind of, when I was on the court, just made me feel relaxed and even in those most tense situations, it was always a calm and it was relaxing to me and always worrying that there was somebody else out there that was better and working harder, that was kind of what drove me. Thomas was born and raised in Richmond, B.C., and his hometown is recognizing his accomplishments by inducting him into the city's Sports Wall of Fame. There are a lot of people along the way that kind of made it all possible, um, from family to close friends and coaches, and so um, some of it is just a thank you to all of them for the time and effort that they spent uh, helping me develop as a young man and as a basketball player. The 43-year-old had a standout university career with the Simon Fraser clan. He represented Canada in 2002 and 2003 and played pro in Europe. He started coaching the BU women's team in 2012. Yeah, it definitely shows through his coaching. He has a, no a lot of knowledge about the game and he definitely shares that with all of us. Just a lot of small details that I never knew of, but now that I've been coached by him for so long, yeah, he's definitely shared all that with me. One of Thomas's biggest contributions since arriving in Brandon has been building the game at the grassroots level. He established three highly successful programs, the Bobcat Basketball Academy, Junior Bobcats, and the Westman Youth Basketball Association. Not only has he changed the game for most people, he's also changed like lives by implementing them in the game of basketball. So when I joined basketball, I didn't really know that I wanted to play. But then through the camps, he really got me interested in it and made me want to play basketball. So to answer your question, he's been very vital in the community's basketball game. Thomas returns home to Richmond for the induction ceremony on November 23rd. Former Winnipeg Blue Bomber Jamie Stoddard and two-time CFL Offensive Lineman of the Year Jim Mills are also being recognized. I think in that moment when it's all happening, it'll be an opportunity to reflect and think back. There's some great memories there at high school and at Simon Fraser and with Team Canada. So um, I think all those thoughts will come back, all those memories will come back because you forget about them. You know, these days when you're trying to do your daytime job, you forget about, you know, what got you here in the first place sometimes.